Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. If you guys have watched my last video, go watch it if you haven't. Um, you'll know it was my... Oh, the flower just lost its petal. That's sad. Um, you'll know it was my 18th birthday recently. Yeah, officially an adult, don't feel like it. I want to be a child again, it was so much easier. But, basically this is second birthday related video. This was requested. I did a poll on my Instagram as well to see whether you guys wanted to see this kind of video and it was a unanimous yes. So here we are with a birthday haul. So before we begin this video, it's probably gonna be a bit of a long one because you know what hauls are like. So grab a cup of tea, get some biscuits, get some cake, sit down, get the chill vibes, and I hope you enjoy the haul. Quick disclaimer, I really don't want any of this to come across as arrogant. I have been unbelievably blessed this year. It was a big birthday. Um, this isn't like a usual birthday. Like I don't, I'm not usually this spoiled. <laughs> um, so I just wanted to do a quick disclaimer that this was a requested video. Um, I did see whether, whether you guys wanted to see this. Um, and I know it's the kind of video that I like to watch. So yeah, I just thought, why not give it a go? But yeah, this is not meant to be me kind of showing off about everything that I've got. Like I say, I have been unbelievably blessed this year and I'm incredibly thankful for everything that I've got and for all the love I've had this birthday. Um, yeah, so without further ado, let's get started, shall we? We'll begin with kind of like the miscellaneous-esque stuff or no, we'll start with books. Okay, so books wise, I got a Monster Calls. This is a special edition one with the some like the drawing stars from the film. I absolutely adore the film. So I'm ready to cry because the film breaks me every time. Um, it's honestly, the illustrations are just so gorgeous. This is quite an ominous one though, because it's all in black and white rather than watercolor in the film, like it is in the film. And it looks very scary in black and white, I won't lie. If you're a fan of dystopian-esque, then you've probably read Shadowhunters. If you haven't and you're into that kind of book like genre, you should read them. They're so good. So I've got a massive box set. Well, when I say massive, it's basically I've got the box set of Mortal Instruments. And I think I've already read them in the wrong order, to be honest. There's so many different ways you can read it, but I basically read the first three Mortal Instruments, stopped there. And these are the Infernal Devices, which is the three middle kind of books. So Clockwork Angel, Clockwork Prince and Clockwork Princess. This is the same like style on the outside as um, Mortal Instruments, which I'm glad about because we love continuity consistency whatever the word is it's one of those two um but yeah so i read the first three mortal instruments and now i'm going to read the, these three and then go back to the final three mortal instruments i know it's not the right order but it's the way i've read it in so i'm sticking with it now yeah, so i can't re wait to read them i need to finish pride and prejudice first but i'm going to start a book kind of like read with me story um on instagram so if you would like to know my thoughts on any of these books go give me a follow it's at yt ellie bradley because those will be up soon because i'm almost i'm not almost finished with pride and prejudice but i'm getting there and then i'm starting infernal devices so go check out my book reviews when i do them <laughs> Then, because it's the 18th, I know in America you have to be 21 before you can drink, but, or is that just to buy alcohol? I don't know. But over here, you can drink at the age of 18. <laughs> so naturally everyone's like, alcohol. So I've got, this is some um, Prosecco. 
another bottle of Prosecco, which I've got to work my way through myself because none of my friends drink Prosecco now after a few bad alcoholic experiences. And we got, my friend also gave me this rosé because rosé is my kind of vibe. My friends always take the mick out of me for it, but I think there was nothing better than having a glass of wine with a meal or sitting outside when it's like starting to like dusk time and just sitting with a glass of rosé, watching the stars, watching the bats fly past. We did it in France. We're going to do it in our holiday from home this year. I just love it. Shout out to Alice for the rosé. You know me well, my girl. Then I also got from my friends this really cute, because I went to, if you've watched, I'll do another link thing. I went to India on a school trip and I absolutely love just anything Indian related, basically like design wise. And they found this cute little dish, which is actually made in India. And it's, I don't know what the actual like pattern style is or like what the paint style is, but it's just a really, really cute dish which is going to be another brilliant one to bring to uni because I can put rings and jewellery in there that's just kind of like without having to bring like a full jewellery box so that's such a cute and pretty little dish that you can just put stuff in it also got me a grow your own bonsai tree and literally every time I go to like spring like gardening shows or whatever and I see the bonsai trees, I'm just like, I really want a bonsai tree. I love the idea of having a bonsai tree um, and just keep like, you know, having to trim it and make it, you know, just the iconic bonsai style. So I can't wait to get this open and actually plant it. I'm praying it actually grows because I really want a bonsai tree. If you're a fan well, I mean, as you guys know, I'm reading Pride and Prejudice at the moment because I said it earlier. If you've watched the film with Keira Knightley, the music in it is absolutely gorgeous. I'm a proper like geek when it comes to film music and like the um, orchestral pieces and just the soundtracks in general. Why did I mouth that so soundtracks? Um, the soundtracks for like films um, and Pride and Prejudice is such a gorgeous one. If you don't know as well, I play piano, have done for like nine or 10 years now. Um, so I got the Pride and Prejudice sheet music. This has basically all my favorite pieces in it. I have tried learning it so far. Gosh, damn, it hurts my brain. I will sit there and I'll be like, at the sheet music, trying to understand it. But I'm getting there, so I will probably post some Pride and Prejudice covers either on here or on my Instagram when I can finally figure them out. Having a quick sip of tea because I'm feeling parched. It's going cold. It's really, really sweet little wolves. Um, these are Willow Hall. There are set, this was a set of two. There's also one that's like a larger one of this one, basically, that's just howling and they're about the same price. So, um, so they're really sweet little wolves. These are from, I believe, Smart Ideas, but like, I, I don't know whether you can get them anywhere else. The website on the bottom of this says, Nemini, oh my, oh my, ne nemesis now so www.nemesisnow.com um but they are so cute and i just think they're gonna fit really well on my kind of like dystopian shelf you know with like twilight for example final thing for this kind of theme of miscellaneous is this swale dale mug if you couldn't tell by the last video I absolutely love farm animals. Farms, wildlife, nature, that is where I'm in my element, that is where I am happiest. I am a true countryside gal. I want a farm on a molder, not like a farm farm, I just want a small holding that it will basically be a therapy farm. And Swaledales are one of the first sheep that I really fell in love with. 
So my dad was an absolute legend and got me this Swaledale mug. And I absolutely love it because so many sheep mugs are either just photos of sheep just stuck on a mug or they're cartoons. So it's nice to have like a proper painted one, if you know what I mean. Um, so my next door neighbor made me this absolutely gorgeous bracelet. She did make me another one for a previous birthday, which was turquoise is the main color and then dark blue gems. And this is basically a gold and dark blue one. And it is possibly my new favorite item of jewelry. It is such a me color combo. I love, I love dark blue anyway. And I just think it's so nice with gold like gold colourings, if you know what I mean. Um, and I just feel like it's one of those bracelets that you can really just, you can wear it if you're dressing up, you can wear it casually. It's just, it literally fits perfectly as well. Then, we're going into the Joe Brown's realm now. Joe Brown's is one of my, I absolutely love the style of it. If you're vintage, vi vintage but like indie at the same time like it's like vintage boho combo Just check them out i absolutely love them we've got a few items from joe brown's so these are white jeans but on the bottom they have this gorgeous rose embroidery and they have a couple pairs of jeans like this on their site they've got blue ones that have flowers embroidered at the top like more so on the thigh so i absolutely love these because i feel like jeans are such a staple anyway but why not spruce them up if you know what i mean we also got this stunning when i first tried it on i put it on the wrong way because i don't know why but i put i thought this was the front at first but it's this knitted jumper um, I don't really know how to describe it. It's a knitted jumper and it's, it's just that summer vibe, you know what I mean? Like you can wear it in the summer, but I feel like it's one of those ones that you can wear over the top of stuff as well. Like you could wear it in the winter as well, or like autumn time, maybe not full winter because winter's cold, but you could wear it. I feel like it's spring, summer, autumn vibe. Dresses now. Um, still from Joe Brown's. I got this. This is what I mean by the like the 19 like vintage style. This is very, I feel like 1950s should have buttoned it up, really. But it's got it's 1950s and it's got these gorgeous like wooden buttons on it. It's like a slightly cream colour. It's a long dress. And I just feel like this is just that summer picnic summer garden party 1950s vibe possibly my new favorite dress now this is one of those ones that when you're holding it up you can't see in its full glory um it's this kind of like really flowy dress with like a rugged hem hemline like it's not straight hemline if you know what i mean like it's not a straight bottom i don't know what the proper word is it's just this really really lovely summer dress it's got an elastic waist so it just fits really nicely so i genuinely absolutely adore this i love the colors on it it's such like a vibrant but classy dress because and this is still my plan i'm a jazz lover i love jazz i love the idea of cocktail bars with live jazz bands i love the 1920s style the dancing you know what i mean like i love it so this so my plan for my 18th birthday party which obviously didn't happen um was to have a 1920s party which is still my plan it will just be not for my 18th <laughs> So this is the dress that I'm going to wear for this. This is from Etsy. Um, I'll leave a link in the description if I remember. I will try and remember. Um, but yeah, this is 
this dress is from etsy i picked this out myself um and it is it is so heavy though it is there's so much sequin on it and then you've got these gorgeous like beads at the bottom and like i can't even tell you this is weighty weighty <laughs> so it's one of those ones that you don't hang up you keep it in a box but this is literally the kind of dress that it will do for my 1920s party when i can finally go to cocktail bars and like jazz clubs you know a fancy cocktail night out this dress is the one like it's perfect for that so that is all the dresses we're on to the harry potter section now ladies and gents um also harry potter related i will i'll put a photo of this in because it's related to my birthday so my friends basically made my birthday cake when they came they came over this weekend social distance gathering um and my but my mates basically made my birthday cake and i'll like i said i'll put a photo up so if you've seen the first harry potter film i mean if you haven't watched harry potter you probably switched off at this point because this is the final section um so if you've seen Harry Potter, in the first Harry Potter film, Hagrid makes Harry a cake that says, Happy Birthday, Harry. And all the spelling's out, and it's a pink cake with green icing. So my two best mates basically recreated that for my birthday cake. Not a good time for age. So I'll put up a photo here of the cake that they made, because I feel like that deserves a mention in this video, because it is honestly... Um, and they also made me a little howler, like a little paper howler, which I just thought was brilliant. And that was in the little part in the gift bag. So shout out to my two besties for that because, and the cake. Um, just the effort that they put in was just, just, oh. Mad love, mad love. I'll start with this first because it's Harry, it's Harry Potter, but it's also miscellaneous at the same time. Um, this is what my brother gave me. So if you want to check this out, because they have some amazing posters on there. They have lots of like gaming ones from like Halo, other films. Just they've just got a good range, and basically they're metal posters. So it's. It's like a metal board with the print on it. The company is, I'm putting this is wrong, Displate. And I'll basically, I'll put in the description, I'll put links to Joe Brown's. To this company, I'll put link, I'll put the Etsy link if I remember. Um, I'll just leave some links for you. But I'll link this, this website in the description if you wanna check them out. There's honestly so many amazing prints on there. And they're just really good gift ideas um because they're just really nice to be honest so yeah my brother gave me this which is a oh you get reflections this is a red panda in the form of a patronus and i absolutely bloody love it then I got these face masks. So I've had these before, these are the Death Eater face masks. So in this you get Bellatrix, Lucius, and Barty Crouch Jr. Um, and they're just so much fun when they're on. They just look so silly. They just make, make for some absolutely beautiful photos, to be honest, guys. I also got these ones, which you get Hedwig, Harry, and Luna. What I'll do is when I show, that I'll put a clip over the top and I'll show you. It's when you zoom in, zoom in. When you look at the little kind of what it will look like, what the sheet mask looks like, it's just looking at Luna and Harry with the way the noses are. It just makes me chuckle. Just makes me chuckle. On the same theme of kind of Harry Potter skincare, as it were, I don't know. We have these bath bombs. So I did have um, before, I've had these before, I've had the Gryffindor and the Slytherin one, but I haven't had Ravenclaw and Hufflepuff. 
they smell so good. Ravenclaw and Hufflepuff smell like a lush bath bomb and I can't figure out which one, but the Gryffindor and Slytherin one. I don't know what the smell is, but they just smell. Oh, okay, here we go, I can tell you guys. Wowzers. So the Slytherin one, fresh notes of bergamot, how do you say it, bergamot? Bergamot. And juniper. Hufflepuff is grapefruit, lemon and orange. Gryffindor is bergamot, lime and verbena. And Ravenclaw is tuberose, tuber, tuberose, jasmine and rose. And there you have it. And they're gold and shiny on the back, so it's probably going to absolutely stain my bath, but it's worth it. Um, on to kind of replicas now. So first I got this, because I've got the Marauders map. Oh, hello, it's me. Wow. So I've got the Marauders map. Oh, you can see yourself. Oh my God, this is not a good idea. I've got the Marauders map and basically it's sad because I didn't have any, like, any way to display it because you don't want to put it in a straight frame because then you can't get it out easily and you want to be able to get it out so you can fully see the map, if you know what I mean, because it is such an amazing replica. So this is the actual, you're just gonna have to deal with seeing double of me. This is the actual display case for it. So it opens up and then basically you can, it's got little elastic bands here that you can just really easily slot it in. The door's magnetic. So it's really easy to take in and out so you can still look at the map. And I'm just so glad it can finally be displayed. Then, my friends also got me this i've got quite a few of these and these are the magical creature figurines so you can get all this stuff on noble collection so i'll leave that link down below as well um but yeah so I, this is now a headwig to add to my collection it's so cute because when you actually look at it it's got it's so headwigs on a pile of books and you also get a little wand which is harry's wand and the Marauders, there's a little Marauders map on the bottom. And I absolutely love these because the detail on them is incredible. They're such, they're just such nice kind of um, collectible items to have and to, and to display because they come in a display box. So you don't get dust on them. Obviously you get dust on the box, but it's not difficult to clean on a box. Okay, I'll do the wand next. So this is Lucius Malfoy's wand. Not just the wand, ladies and gents, but the full cane. It is huge. If I stand up now, right, it is right to my waist. I'm a tall girl. I am five, eight and a half. Okay, five, eight and a half, and it comes to my waist. So what you can do you can take the wand out of the cane you can be like a full lucius and you can take the wand out it is heavy it's so weighted but it is it's just a bloody gorgeous replica he's got green eyes i'll show you a close-up but it is just just one of those replicas that just you just absolutely bloody love it you know what i mean and then the final replica and final present is this basilisk fang no 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 it's not the final replica and the final present i have to show for you today is the if once again if you've seen harry potter in the second film this is tom riddle's diary with the basilisk fang through it so you can get an actual diary replica of tom riddle's diary but personally, I think it's probably about 30 quid or something like that. I wouldn't want to use it. So you're basically paying 30 quid for a diary. Yes, it's a replica of Tom Riddle's, but... This, however, is... It comes on the plaque that says Tom Marvolo Riddle. The detail on this, so the Basilisk Fang does come out. So if you want, you can have the two separate replicas. 
just the detail on this book like this is another one that is heavy and it's just I mean incredible do you know what I mean like I think this is genuinely one of my new favorite replicas that I own I absolutely love it like I said at the start of the video I have been so unbelievably blessed this year it has been an amazing birthday all round it's been really nice because we saw family once we socially distanced friends i had farm therapy i had pink and purple hair even though it's basically all gone now and it's just been like one of my favorite birthdays ever despite being in the end of lockdown and it's just yeah i just yeah i am lost for words even though i've been speaking for like 35 minutes lost for words this birthday it's just been so amazing um but yeah so that is the end of the haul i really hope you guys have enjoyed today like i say i will leave links down for noble collection joe brown's the etsy dress and displayed which is obviously the metal poster so i'll leave links to all of those companies down below if you want to check them out um but yeah, so thank you guys for watching today's video. If you did enjoy it, please feel free to like and subscribe. It means a lot to me. But yeah, I really hope you guys have enjoyed. I hope you enjoyed the 18th birthday vlog. Once again, if you haven't, please feel free to check it out. And I will see you guys in the next video, whatever and whenever it may be. But yeah, so thanks for watching and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace. Brilliant.